What's up, y'all? Here in Seoul, it's snowing up something fierce out there. I'll tell you what. Actually, not really. There's probably maybe a couple inches of accumulation, but everything's shutting down, like the uh, the delivery, because those scooters, they don't perform too well in that slush. So, uh, you know what? I tried to order some other food. I had this other video I wanted to do. I ordered it, and then they called me, and they're like, no, nah, we can't do it. Call back when, this, when the snow melts. So, you know, I'm out here in the studio, and I ain't really got many options. Except this, I was raiding my cabinets over there and this is all I could find. And I figured it's worth a shot. I've wanted to do some kind of video for them, but I wasn't really sure about it. Yeah, so uh, what are these exactly anyway? Basically, as you can see by this guy and the brand up here, Samyang, it is the Korean fire noodles, but uh, in this is Indian curry, it's Vindaloo. I'm not really sure. I just saw it and I picked it up. Each of these are like three bucks. I think they have a couple other varieties of, of curries, but this one was the spiciest. It says it is uh, level four out of five. The other one, one of them was like one level one and one of them was like level two or three. But anyway, I wanted to get the spiciest one I could find. I picked these up for like three bucks each and I picked them up probably uh, several months ago and they've just been sitting there. As far as I know, you can just microwave these for like a minute or two. And I'm going to be eating, trying them with some rice that I have here, which is also microwavable. Here are the instructions. I think you're supposed to just tear off the top and microwave it for just about a minute, minute and a half or something, and uh, should be good to go. So yeah, just a quick little video today. Um, I'm just curious about the flavors of this. Is it going to be like, I love Vindaloo. I love spicy Indian curry. Is this going to be tasting like the Vindaloo that I know and love? Or is it going to be more of like a, you know, the Korean fire noodle sauce flavor in it? I'm... I don't know. Since I have to tear off the top, I might as well do a first look and I guess first smell because I would be looking at it and smelling it anyway in order to cook it. Ooh. I don't think I was supposed to tear off the whole top like that. This was, it was very precarious up in that microwave spinning. That could have been a, that could have been heavy. That could have been real heavy duty. If one of these tipped over in there, that would have been the end of me for sure. Oh, that's, that's hefty. That's a lot of curry up in there on that plate. I mean, that came real close to overflowing there. I wasn't going to hold back on it, but that's, that's kind of a little holiday miracle there for us. Uh, but looking good, smelling good. I don't see any big chunks of chicken, but you can see like little chunks, probably chicken, I'm guessing. And yeah, the rice is probably like two bucks. I'm stalling here because uh, I think I'm going to burn my, my mouth. Mmm. It's tasty. That's real tasty. And it's spicy. You wouldn't expect anything less from the fire noodle brand, you know what I'm saying? I'll be honest though, I don't taste any of that original like fire noodle sauce. which is, uh, it's interesting. You would think that they would put that, infuse the flavor of that into this, but it, they didn't. This just tastes, maybe, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I'm not really picking it up. Um, it's tasting like a Vindaloo to me, but an instant Vindaloo. All right, we'll give it that, but hey, instant uh, curry, they come in these little packets like this. I've had it before. I used to eat it when I was like really struggling because you could get like super cheap stuff for like a dollar. I have a soft spot in my heart for it. It kind of has that flavor, like a similar flavor. You, you might know what I'm talking about if you ever had like instant curry in a bag like that. Um, but I'll tell you what, it's real spicy. Yeah. I, I'll tell you, if you could add more chicken to this, this would be solid. This would be, this would be doing me a solid, like actual chunks of chicken, bigger chunks. And also, if I had some like naan, some bread to dip it in, that's my favorite. Uh, don't think I've ever had like Indian style curry with straight up white rice like this. Maybe I have, but it's not bad. 
I don't know why I wore this beanie for this video because it's I'm already starting to sweat. You did. Oh, is that beef? I feel like I might have seen some mystery meat that look, resembles beef in there. Who knows what that is, really? Stuff is hot. Stuff is real hot. I think four out of five is a good level. I think they judged it well. I think, um, to me, is this spicier than uh, regular the fire noodles, the original? I would say, mmm. Hold on. I would say it's like on par, it's close. <clears throat> Ooh. I'll tell you what, on a snowy day though, like today, this will really warm up the bones. We just got the winter blast coming through. It was pretty decent weather up until like, like last week, and it just turned. Turn Donna's. Mm, mm. Yeah, but this stuff, it'll make your nose run. It'll heat you up. It'll give you a little warm, fuzzy feeling in your stomach. And it'll probably make you sweat too. If you're a sweater. I'm a sweater. Like, I sweat a lot. Heat is my arch nemesis. So actually, I'm not complaining about this weather at all. I actually prefer it to the heat. Ideal temperature, uh, probably about 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So not like super cold or anything, but definitely not hot. I don't get why some people love the summer so much. I mean, it must be people who don't sweat. Like you just like love the, the 90 degree, you know, 80, 85 degree summer blazing sun bla blinding you, uh, just blasting you right in the face. Sitting outside getting a suntan, like I hate that. It's like, oh, I'm sweating after like two minutes of chilling. So I'm like, all right, I'm do not, nah, I'm not vibing. I was summer birthday, but um, not a huge summer fan. Everyone's like, oh. It's a beautiful day, it's sky clear, it's 90 degrees, let's go outside. I'm like, no, nah, hell is no. Nah. All right, let me just finish this off. Got mm. a little bit messy there at the end. I'm, you know, losing a little bit of control. Really decent stuff though, I can't lie. I was not gonna film anything today after I failed getting what I wanted. And I was just kind of like let down on that. And then, you know, this was like the only backup opportunity I had, like everything shut down. Well, not everything, but everything's either shut down or super slow. But I'm glad I had this as an emergency and I'm glad I filmed this because even if it's not that interesting, it was, it was freaking tasty. I'm skating out here. Thanks for watching. If you ever come across this, give it a try. For now, I'm out of here. Peace.